the conditions? I believe that's correct. Okay, so um, this is a pinnacle rearrangement, okay? Um, or going to be a pinnacle rearrangement. So you have, um, of course, this, to, I don't think I need to do that reaction anymore. This is gonna make hydronium ion, right? Mm -hmm. So H3O plus. So that's really the catalyst of the reaction. So what you'll see is, well, remember, if we've got an acid, and since we've got an acid, the other part of the reaction is going to be a base, right? There's only two basic sites in the uh, starting material, right? So it's either here or here, okay? So either one of them can be protonated equally as good, okay? Um, the one that goes towards product is when you protonate this one here. Because if you protonate this one, well, here, I'll just show you. If we yeah. protonate here, right, when we make of course we turned a bad leaving group into a good leaving group now. Mm -hmm. Right? And this will leave on its own because it's going to make a tertiary carbocation, right? If we protonate it here, it wouldn't leave, it would be a primary, which is no good, right? You know that. Bad. So when we do that, we get... It's like what would happen is it would protonate, but then immediately reverse. Yeah, it could protonate. So, yeah, we protonate, but we go back, you know, because it won't leave. You know, it's not, it's not a productive reaction or not a productive intermediate, if that makes sense. This is a productive intermediate, okay? So, then we get this. Well, let's do this, because we're eventually going to take that proton off. Yeah. Okay? But you got to remember there's still two protons here, right? On that carbon. Right? That makes sense, right? This is a carbocation, very unstable relative to having those two protons there. So those, one of those protons is going to do uh, one, two, well, it's going to be a hydride, one, two hydride shift, right? So um, you can do it a couple of ways. Um, a lot of times you want to think of something kind of promoting it to do that hydride shift. So you want to think of these electrons kind of bouncing down in there and forcing this hydrogen to do that one, two hydride shift there. Right, and then what you get from that is the hydrogens there. I guess we can show it. And you got a double bond there. So effectively, you've got a protonated aldehyde. Okay. Over here, remember, here we made water, here we made water, right? So we have a water molecule over here. Not to mention the solvent is water. Right. A water molecule over here. So you got a bunch of water molecules. What's going to happen is one of them is going to see that proton deprotonate like that and give you your final product. Which is the aldehyde from that pinnacle rearrangement. Can you see that? Yeah, you can. Okay. I was checking. Okay. Okay. So, and then of course that's going to regenerate the hydronium ion, right? Which just goes and finds another one and does it again. Okay. So, this is the acid base reaction, right? This is the leaving group leaving, right? Just leaving group leaving, and then the one two hydride shift, and then another acid base. That's the if, it didn't, if it didn't hydride shift, then you just get stuck. Or what? Well, I mean, 
the water would come back and attack that because it's an electrophile, right? That's a nucleophile, you know, and then you go backwards, right? right. So the, the only way, eventually, right, once you get to here, well, once you get to here, it ain't going back, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So that's like the that's like the thermodynamic well or whatever you want to say. Once you get there, bam, it ain't going back. Okay. Does that make sense? It makes sense, yeah. Okay, cool.